get the top popped off and they just kind of fling out of the egg and uh, they usually are, are trying to wobble around within an hour to two hours um, they're not walking very well but they are you know upright and, and got their head up and, and trying to walk um, I personally uh, because it can take days for them to fully fluff out what I'll do is I'll wait a few hours and after everybody's hatched and stuff I'll, I'll go ahead and take the chicks out and I have a very soft bristled toothbrush and I will brush the um, dried up crud out of their fur or fuzz and uh, so that way they uh, they look all nice and fluffy but I mean you don't have to do that that's just what I do plus I mean handling them a lot and stuff gets them used to you and especially if you're the first thing that they see they'll they'll think you're their mother and all that good stuff <coughs> so anyway um, as far as um, the fine-tuning of incubators and how they work and everything I'm going to do a separate video on that and uh, walk you through because I actually have a um, batch of eggs that are about to hatch any day now and uh, I really they're, they're on lockdown now so I can't really open my incubator and um, show you what all how everything works and whatnot but um, I will make a video on that after these guys hatch because I'm not planning on hatching any more eggs for a little while so um, so I won't have anything to worry about um, losing any heat or anything so I'll be able to make a video on showing you guys you know how to build your own incubator and uh, it's pretty easy I mean basically the main thing you want to look out for is uh, you need something to circulate air you need a container that will hold heat something insulated uh, you need a heat source and a source for humidity uh, a way to control that heat source um, by the thermostat and a, um, a thermometer and hydrometer like I said I'll go through all of that later so uh, basically I was just going through the basic steps of uh, the incubation process and uh, so it's 18 days till lockdown and at lockdown it can be 20 21 days before they hatch uh, sometimes you can have them hatch a little early sometimes they may hatch a little late typically if chicken eggs go over 25 days you can be pretty sure that they're dead so um, you also have to watch for eggs that have uh, gone bad during the incubation process you do that by candling usually um, I've gotten good enough where I can usually tell by about three or four days um, which eggs are developing and which ones aren't but most people most people um, don't start candling till at least day seven or eight and at that point they weed out the ones that you can tell don't have anything developing in them and if there's nothing developing in them then you know you, you, of course you're going to want to throw them out if you don't throw them out then you run into um, an egg starting to decompose on the inside it can start weeping and um, explode on you and if that happens then you run into contaminating all of your other eggs with you know spreading infection and stuff and it can kill the others so you really have to kind of watch out for um, which ones have gone bad and which ones haven't and um, definitely take those out if they've gone bad um, so that's pretty much it for the uh, basic basic um, incubation steps 21 days to hatch keep your humidity up uh, temperature shouldn't shouldn't really drop below 99 98 no higher than 100, 101. Um, heat, humidity, turn the eggs because the chickens do turn the eggs in the wild. the The mother will shift her eggs around, you know, several times a day. Like I said, bare minimum is is two to three times a day. Um, three is ideal if you're um, on time constraints and whatnot, but. Uh, you can get away with two so but that's pretty much it and like I said I'll go into the deeper details with the uh, incubation and, and uh, building your incubator and everything 
a little later uh, when after uh, the eggs that I have in my incubator hatch and uh, I'm hoping to get some video of that too so hopefully I'll I'll be able to include some of that in in that video um, the next topic um, that I wanted to touch is the world's best website for chicken information and the name of the website is backyardchickens.com and they have so much information on that website um, I'll include my screenshot of the, the home page for backyard chickens uh, there's a forum on there and everybody there is chicken obsessed and they know a lot about chickens and uh, incubating eggs and, and all that good stuff and um, they just I mean you can ask almost any question and somebody's gonna have the answer for it and there's always tons of support on there for people like it like one time I had a, a double yolk egg and typically double yolk eggs won't hatch because uh, usually one will die once it starts to decompose it'll kill the other if they both make it to hatch day they won't be able to hatch and uh, so you have to watch out for all of that so I mean most of the time people don't even incubate them well this egg I didn't know it was a double yoker until the embryo started growing and there was two of them in there and um, so I, ha I was having some problems with that egg and I was trying to keep it alive and everything so I jumped onto backyard chickens and I was asking people uh, anybody who had hatched double yolk eggs before what kind of uh, information they could give me and help and all that kind of stuff and and they were just great they were they were really great they had a lot of information they helped me out a lot and and I learned a lot I've learned a whole lot from this uh, from this particular website and and they have um, topics for fo forum or forum topics for anything from uh, show birds to meat birds how to butcher uh, pest control coop designs, uh, homemade incubator designs, just, I mean, just anything you can think of having to do with poultry, and, uh, and that, that includes uh, geese, turkeys, ducks, guineas, that kind of stuff. They also have a, um, a list of people who are selling eggs, and, um, you know, to, sh to ship eggs and stuff, you can purchase eggs from, from your friends on Backyard Chickens, and all that good stuff so uh, I, if you think about getting into chickens I highly suggest that you uh, check out that website because it's it's probably the best website on the face of the earth for for um, learning about chickens uh, moving along to different hatcheries there are two hatcheries that I have actually purchased from one is the Murray McMurray hatchery and I'll start with them they're they're pretty good they um they have some fairly reasonable prices uh d depending on uh special breeds and stuff they do have some good selections but then some of them like the silkies uh this spring um I ordered I wanted to order some silkies and there were particular colors and whatnot that I wanted that they didn't have but the very first order that uh, that we got from McMurray was was just fabulous. They they uh, have a little thing on there where you uh, can choose to get a free exotic chick, and uh, we ended up with actually two of them. We ended up with uh, one of our turkins and a Polish uh, uh, hen. Yeah, it was a Polish hen, but she got bit by a black widow spider and died. So. Uh, anyway, uh, they also, we only ordered 25 chicks, and we ended up with 31, so, which we ha actually have weeded a lot of those out, you know, butchering them and whatnot, but anyway, um, so yeah, so we, I mean, they, they include, a lot of the, that was like the free rare chick, and then also, you know, we, um, got what they call packing peanuts which is uh, chicks that haven't been sold as a specific breed 